Brian, first of all, what is the etiquette to asking an opponent to dance? I know my fights personally come off kind of the heat of the moment situations where, you know, someone runs Logan or Coot or uh, Jumbo or anyone actually on the team if I'm on the ice and, you know, I'll kind of get fired up and respond that way. And in that case, you just go at them and say, let's go. What if I want to leave the cage on? Uh, well, for some of your size, that's fine. So just rip it off easy. So I'll, I'll let you leave that on. I'll ask you if you need one. You say yes. Go ahead. You need one? No. Okay. Okay, I'm going to grab you I'm anyway. I'm going this way, actually. I'm going to grab you anyway. <laughs> here comes the yard sale, right? Yeah. You lose everything. At this point right here, when it's just me and you, and everybody's watching, and we're just going in circles, what goes through your mind? Kill mode. So I'll probably try to reach in and grab you this way. So that'll probably be my first, first move. A lot of times you'll see off a fight, especially when two guys grab like this, is the first thing you'll see is rabbit punches. Yeah. You see those rabbit punches. Get getting shaking like a ragdoll. Exactly, yeah. like a ragdoll. So what they do is, it's not really, they're more to keep you off balance. On the back of every hockey sweater, there's the fight strap here, right? This thing's normally attached on here, and it's supposed to prevent the, the sweater from yeah. coming over my head. I've left it off on purpose. Show me what happens when you get this thing over my head. So we lock up. Yeah. And like I said, you swing, I pull you. And there it is. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> and then now you go down, and head. you try to swing. You, uh, you ain't swinging there. You don't know where I am. So then you just come, come with the old jackhammer on the top. <laughs> How bad did you want to hit me right there? I want to sneak a jab in. Ryan Quo, you're a gentleman. We always hey, appreciate thanks. it. Hey, buddy.